Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. We're going to take a look at a flip cover for this device, specifically the official Samsung Galaxy S4 S View flip cover. Now you can pick this up here in the UK for about £29.30 and in the States it's about $49.50 depending on where you get it from. Links will be in the description. As you can see I've got the white version here as I've got a white Galaxy S4. Along the back you've just got some product information here so let's see if we can get this open and uh, see what you get out of the box so that's pretty much it so we get rid of the packaging there and get rid of the other packaging there and we'll get rid of the polystyrene insert there as well just bring that in a little bit closer so you can get a feel for it as you can see here it's got the pre-printed label along this side so we'll just take that off a second and what we'll do peel off the inside film here as well so while we're here we'll peel off the back get that out of the way there's a lot of uh, covered parts of this device so here we go beginning from the inside of the product itself from the earpiece you can see there's a nice microfiber lining towards this inside of this product from where it touches the screen you've got the the window there and this lining this microfiber lining carries all the way down and you've got like a little cutout still with some lining in there for the home button and this middle hinge area has also got the microfiber lining as well so moving towards uh, the right hand side of the product so we've got the back cover here this replaces the cover that came with the device so you can keep that to one side for safe keeping for eventually when you wear out this SV cover and keep the original in pristine condition you can see there you got the cutout there for the speaker notice there's nothing there for the wireless charging pad so if you do decide to get that one you may have to change your cover again because there's nothing catered for it on this product itself so I'm moving along to the back and zooming right in here so you can get a feel for the diamond desk pattern along the back of the unit so the S view cover doesn't look out of place at all on your handset I like that attention to detail and if we carry on going down you'll be able to see the cutout there for the speaker along the bottom and then we have the micro USB cutout along the bottom there as well and we flip that around so we can have a look at the top you've got the 3.5 millimeter audio jack cutout there as well and zooming right in along the front of the unit where the earpiece is so you can get a feel for the material and the pattern used there as well so hopefully that comes across in the video nice material being used and then we have the Galaxy S4 branding along the bottom so if we have a look around the hinge I'm gonna say it flips right the way around there we go so what we'll do get the Galaxy S4 remove the, the back cover comes across or comes out really easily and then what we'll do get the device in there and there we go that's the S view cover working straight away we haven't configured anything at all for it just open that up again I like the way it does that it instantly recognizes the fact that it's got the S view cover on and minimizes the screen down just to the window size saving on energy there as well I'm just going to bring in my secondary Galaxy S4 so we get them side by side here so you can see it doesn't add very much in terms of weight to the front or the back of the unit but it does add I'm gonna say a millimeter to the front of the unit and maybe a millimeter to the back as you can see there and if you put them side by side it obviously makes it a little bit thicker because you've got the flip cover along the front and the back is a little bit more robust than the standard back cover that comes on the device and if you have a look at the bottom now see it does add a millimeter or two to the front and the back of the device as well if you have a look at the side profile of the unit the top one is the one with the S view cover on it and then if you have a look around the back as well there you go you can see the hinged side of the S view cover 
So we'll get that out of the way now. What I want to do now is just send a text message from my secondary device to this Galaxy S4. See what it displays like through the S view window. There you go. Text message notification in the notifications bar. Little text message icon in the bottom right with the number five. Just meaning that I've got five unread text messages there. So that's what the text messaging looks like through the S view cover. What I now want to do is also ring this Galaxy S4, see what it looks like when a phone call comes through and you've got the cover. So there you go, you get the notifications area, green for pick up and block. So let's try and pick that up. Oh yeah, that's uh, picked up pretty easily to be fair. I was expecting to insert a bit more pressure on the, the cover of the S view case, but no, that was went through pretty easily. So we'll just block that as well now. Hang up on that phone call. That went through really easily. I'm well impressed with that to be fair. The next thing I want to try here is playing a music track and see how well that conveys while the S view cover itself is closed. So we'll just start playing that away and close the cover. And if we just bring that in a little bit closer, you can see that album art in the bottom left of the window will the artist scroll in across right next to it. So that's going to sleep. I'll just wake that up. Apart from having no magnet here, the other downside is you can't access the volume control buttons because there's no sort of cutout, but you can get a feel for where they are. And if I just turn that off, turn it back down. They're easily accessible if you know where they are. You don't even really need to feel for them, really, because they're pretty big. As you can see here, they're easily accessible. You just gotta press down towards the top of the hinge there. And that's as good as done, to be honest. We'll just leave that closed for a sec. Most people have been having trouble with the SV cover popping up once they get it, but mine seems to be okay. I don't know if you just need to work with it and bed it down a little bit, but mine seems to be okay there. For those of you that do happen to have some trouble with this, there are some options that you can actually get into. So once you're in your device, go to menu, settings, along the top, go to my device, scroll down until you get to accessory tap on that and there's an option there for S view cover and automatic unlock. Mine's already got a tick next to it but if you have any trouble with it just make sure you got a tick next to that and you should be all good. And that's been a look at the Samsung Galaxy S view cover for the Samsung Galaxy S4. Any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. Doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and we'll see you next time.